Hey, what's up guys? It's Dark Arm Duels, and today I'm going to be doing a Marincess deck profile. So I'm really excited to do this one for you guys because this deck is an extremely powerful deck that's actually one of my favorite Link-based decks to be able to play. Because you can summon out all sorts of awesome boss monsters like Aqua Argonaut to be able to control the board. So without further ado, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell there so you can come part of Notification Squad, and definitely check out the Patreon down in the description below for all those awesome rewards. Like getting your name in description every single video, getting assigned cards in the mail, and even getting to request a deck profile every single month to your Patreon. So without further ado, let's get straight on into this. So first off, we're gonna be playing three copies of Blue Tang. Blue Tang is definitely a three of in the build, as this card is actually the best normal summon in the entire deck. And if this card is normal or special summon, you can actually send a Marincess monster from your deck to the graveyard, Accept another copy of Blue Tang, which is usually going to be your copy of Seahorse that you're sending to the grave off this card's ability. And if this card is sent to the graveyard as a material for the Link Summon of a Water Monster, you can excavate the top three cards from your deck, and if you do, add one excavated Marincess card to your hand, also shovel the rest back in the deck, which is an awesome ability to basically just draw into an extender. We then play three copies of Seahorse. Seahorse is amazing in the deck as an extender because you can easily grab this card back out of the graveyard with your copy of blue slug and it has the ability that you can special summon this card from your hand to a zone a Marincess link monster points to making this card a definite three of to use as an extender in the build this card also has the ability during your main phase except the turn this card was sent to the graveyard you can manage this card in the graveyard to special summon one water monster from your hand to a zone a Marincess link monster points to which is a really cool ability because all around this card is an awesome extender we then play three copies of Spring Girl. Spring Girl is really cool as a three of in the build because you can actually banish a Marincess monster from the graveyard to be able to special summon this card from your hand, which is a great ability to instantly get this card out in your side of the field. This card also has the effect that if this card is sent to the graveyard as a material for the Link Summon of a water monster, you can send cards from the top of your deck to the graveyard equal to the number of Marincess monsters that you control. Then if a Marincess card was sent to the graveyard by this effect, inflict 200 points of damage to your opponent for each Marincess card sent, which can do a little bit of burn damage to your opponent to help you close out games, and it helps you during time. We then play three copies of Pascalis. Pascalis is a really cool three of as well in the deck, and it's a great normal summon, because if this card is normal or special summon, you can special summon a Marincess monster from the hand and defense version, except a copy of Pascalis, which is going to get you two monsters out on your side of the field, just to basically go in for a bunch of link plays. This card is an awesome ability that during your main phase, except the turn this card was sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card from the graveyard, and then target a Marincess Spell Trap in the grave and add it to your hand, which is really cool to add back cards like Wave or your copy of Dive or even Battle Ocean if it does touch the graveyard. We then play two copies of Mandarin. Mandarin helps out a lot in the deck as an extender as well because this card has a really cool ability that if you control two or more Marincess monsters while this card is in your hand of the grave, you can target a Water Link monster that you control and special summon this card to a zone your monster points to, but banish it when it leaves the field, which is a really cool effect to instantly get this card out on your side of the field just to help you keep link climbing. We then play a single copy of Sleepy Maiden. Sleepy Maiden helps out a lot, just as a one of in the build, but this card has a really cool ability that you can actually target a Marincess card that you control and special summon this card from your hand, and if you do, it gains this effect that when this card in the monster zone is targeted by a card, it cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects, which is a really cool ability to basically just give you a little protection, and also you can banish this card from the graveyard and then target a Marincess Link monster that you control and equip it with one Marincess Link monster from the graveyard, which is a really cool ability because your copy of Battle Ocean is going to kind of equip multiple of your Marincess monsters to your big boss monster Aqua Argonaut, but this card just gives it an additional equip which is really powerful. We didn't play for the hand traps, we're going to be playing three copies of Ash Blossom just to stop your opponent from touching the deck, three copies of Effect Failure to stop your opponent's monster effects, Three copies of Nibiru because we can easily out it. This card is really powerful. This format is just really good overall in the deck to basically break your opponent's board. So that's it for the monsters, guys. Let's get in to the spells. So 
So for the spells, we're going to start with a single copy of Monster Reborn. Monster Reborn is really helpful in the deck. So basically just use this card as an extender to help us link climb. And then play a single copy of Harpy's Feather Duster. I really like maining this card in the deck because we do play Thrust so we can easily search this card, which is why I really like this card as a one of in the build just to deal with my opponent's back row. We then play a single copy of Battle Ocean. Battle Ocean is super good in this deck as a one of because this card is what the entire deck revolves around as you really really want to get to your copy of Battle Ocean on the field, so it makes all Marincess monsters you control gain 200 attack. Also, each one gains 600 attack for each Marincess monster equipped to it, which is a really cool ability, especially when you summon out your copy of Aqua Argonaut, and it basically has three monsters equipped to it, and then it gains 200 additional attack points to this, which is a total of 2,000 attack points boost, bringing your copy of your Aqua Argonaut to 43, which is absolutely insane. This card also has the ability of monsters that you control in the extra monster monster zone that were linked summon using a copy of Marincess Crystal Heart as a material or unaffected by your opponent's card effects. And when you link summon a Marincess monster to the extra monster zone, except during the damage step, you can equip up to three Marincess link monsters with different names from your graveyard to that monster as equipped monsters, which is super cool to be able to put them in your back row and just basically equip them to that monster, giving them 600 points of attack points for each one that is equipped, which is absolutely insane. We then play a single copy of Call by the Grave. Call by the Grave is really good as a one of in the build to basically just use this card to stop your opponent from hand trapping you while you're going in for all of your plays. We then play two copies of Thrust. Thrust is really good because it can search out cards like your copy of Monster Reborn or Harpy's Feather Duster if your opponent does activate a monster effect during this turn, which is a really insane effect to be able to use because we have a bunch of different cards we can get to in this build. We then play two copies of Triple Tactics Talents. Tactics Talents is great in the deck as a two of as if your opponent does hand trap you during the main phase you get to draw two take control of opponent's monster or look at your opponent's hand and actually shuffle the card from it back in the deck which is really cool we then play two copies of marincess dive marincess dive is a really good extender in the deck because you activate one of the following effects and for the rest of the turn after this card resolves you cannot smash some monsters except for water which is totally fine because that's all we're summoning anyways but this card lets you target a non-link marincess monster in the graveyard and special summon it or if your copy of battle oceans on the field you can actually special summon a Marincess monster from the deck, making this card basically an e-telly, but it is searchable, which is why we just play this card as a two of in the deck. We then also play two copies of Pot of Desires. I will recommend as a player who's played this deck for a very long time, Pot of Desires is really good in the deck as a two of, but you always want to activate this card after you've got your copy of Battle Ocean because you don't want to activate this card first and then banish your copy of Battle Ocean and then not have a way to get to it because it's banished face down. So you always want to activate this card last to dig for hand traps or extenders or cards like Thrust or Talents or stuff like that because any normal summon in this deck is going to end on a copy of Aqua Argonaut or at least your copy of Coral Triangle. So it's very easy for this card to basically just banish anything that you don't need once you've gone full combo. So this card is really good just to dig into the deck for other combo pieces in the deck to extend your plays or to use this card in the build to basically dig for cards like your copy of Talents, Thrust, Monster Reborn, Feather Duster, anything like that to basically extend your plays even further. So that's it for the spells guys. Let's get in to the traps. So for the traps, we're going to be playing two copies of Marincess Wave. I really like two copies in the main deck because we do play Desires in this build. And this card is just really good. It has the ability, if you control a Marincess Link monster, you can actually target a face-up monster that your opponent controls and negate that face-up monster's effect until the end of this turn. Then, if you control a, a Link 2 or higher Marincess monster, all face-up monsters that you control are unaffected by your opponent's card effects until the end of the turn. If you control a Link 3 or higher Marincess Marincess monster, you can activate this card from your hand as a hand trap, which is absolutely crazy. This card is definitely a two of in the build. You can play it at one, but I just really like this card as a two of because nobody expects the second copy. We then play three copies of Infinite Impermanence. Infinite Impermanence is really good in the deck as a three of to work with all of our other hand traps. And that's what's cool about this deck is you have so much room in this deck for hand traps, which is absolutely amazing. And another budget option for you guys, if you want to, is you could drop thrust for more 
hand traps in the deck like Ghost Ogre or your copies of Ghost Mourner to be able to use to make it a little bit more budget, but this card is really good in the deck because with these cards and the other hand traps that you're playing, you're actually playing 14 hand traps in the deck, which is absolutely crazy because you always have an answer to your opponent. So that's it for the main deck, guys. Let's get in to the extra deck. So for the extra deck, guys, we're going to start with a single copy of Aqua Argonaut. Aqua Argonaut is our main boss monster for the deck, and this card is insane. It has the ability that while this card is in the extra monster zone, your opponent's monsters cannot target any other monster except this card for an attack, which is really cool to be able to basically make it so they're going to have to attack into this monster that's usually going to have 4,300 attack points. It also has the ability that basically you can actually target a water monster that you control and one card your opponent controls and return them back to the hand. And during your opponent's turn, when a spell or trap card or effect is activated on the field quick effect, you can special summon one of your Marinsis monsters equipped to this card. And if you do, negate the effects activated activation, which is a really awesome ability to use this card as a spell trap negate as well. We then play a single copy of Bubble Reef. Bubble Reef is really good as a one of in the deck, but I'm usually always summoning out the copy of Aqua Argonaut to the field. But this card is a really good option in the deck because once per turn during each shaman phase, you can actually banish a water monster from your graveyard or face up from the field to draw a card. And each time a monster is banished face up, this card gains 600 attack which is a really cool ability to basically use that ability until the end of the turn that it gains at 600 attack points. And also, you can send a water monster from your hand to the graveyard and then special summon one of your banished Marincess monsters, which is a pretty cool effect to be able to bring back a monster to your field. We can play a single copy of Marbled Rock. Marbled Rock is a good one of in the build because it lets you target a Marincess monster in your graveyard and then add it back to your hand, which is just a really cool ability to add the exact card you need back to your hand. And when your opponent's monster declares an attack, you can actually send a Marincess monster from your hand to the grave. And for that battle, mon that monster cannot be destroyed by battle. Also, you take no battle damage, which is a really cool effect. We can play a single copy of Coral Triangle. Coral Triangle is really good because this card actually searches Wave because you can send a water monster from your hand to the graveyard to add a Marincess trap which is going to be a Marincess wave from your deck to your hand and if only your opponent controls a monster you can actually banish this card from the graveyard and special summon water link monsters from your graveyard whose combined link rating is exactly three which is really cool to be able to just basically use this card like a soul charge from the graveyard to bring back monsters to your side of the field to get back into the game this card is amazing in the deck as a one of and sometimes in this deck you'll just end on this card which is really really cool we then play two copies of coral anemone Coral Anemone is a great extender in the deck and just a really powerful combo piece. It lets you target a water monster with 1500 or less attack in your graveyard and special summon it to a zone this card points to. Also, it locks you into water monsters, which is totally fine. And if this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can actually target a Marincis card in the graveyard and add it back to your hand, which is really cool for this card to be able to do. And then play a single copy of Crystal Heart. We play this card as a one of in the build. Just basically use it with your copy of Battle Ocean to give your monsters that bonus effect the battle ocean gives them which is super cool if you use this card as a material to be able to summon out another monster we then played two copies of Blue Slug. Blue Slug is really powerful as a two of. And something to remember about this card is you're always going to use Blue Tang to make this card first. And this card is really important to be able to make on your side of the field because it has the ability, if this card is Link Summon, you can actually target a Marincess monster in the graveyard and add it back to your hand. So what you're going to usually do with your plays is the best line of play is to normal summon out your copy of Blue Tang, send a copy of Seahorse to the graveyard, link away the Blue Tang, summon out your copy of Blue Slug, and then you'll actually use the copy of blue slug or the blue tang to be able to execute the top three at a marincess card and this card will grab your copy of seahorse back out of the graveyard so you can summon seahorse and summon at your copy of sea angel which is something important to keep in mind that blue slug for blue tang and your copy of sea angel is seahorse which is really cool to be able to link summon them that way and i love that about these cards and if this card is linked summon you get to add a marincess spell from your deck to your hand which if you don't have battle ocean you grab battle ocean if you have battle ocean grab dive we then play a single copy of Splash Mage. Splash Mage is a walking monster reborn for the deck, which is why I play this card as a one of in the build. We then play a single copy of Zelantis. Zelantis is really cool because this card has a really insane effect that you can only control one of this card. And it also has the ability that during your main phase, you can banish all monsters on the field, then special summon as many monsters as possible that were banished by this card's effect to their owner's field and face up or face down defense position, which is a really cool effect because your copy of your 
Coral Anemone will actually lock you into actually only summoning water. So if your opponent's not playing water, technically you're the one that's summoning those monsters back. So if they're not playing water, they don't get their monsters back, which is really insane to be able to use your copy of Zelantis. And I love that about this card to basically just summon out this card to your side of the field using your copy of, say, Aqua Argonaut on your side of the field to be able to close out games. You then play a single copy of Bahamut Shark to be able to summon out a copy of Totally Awesome, which is just a really good option in the deck to be able to summon because it's a walking negate, and I love that about this card. Plus, it has a really cool ability that if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can actually target a water monster in the graveyard and add it back to your hand. So you can just put this card back into the extract if it does touch the grave, which is a really cool effect. So that's it for the deck, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. This deck is super fun to be able to play. If you guys have never played Marincess before, you should definitely give this deck a try because it's absolutely crazy the amount of hand traps you can play in this deck and how cool this deck is to play. I really love playing Marincess. I've been playing this deck for a very long time and I really love this build. So that's going to do for this one, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell there so you can come part of the notification squad. And we'll see you guys in the next video. See you later, guys.